Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Greg Techno Horizons Season 2. Uh, last episode, we got some more chemistry stuff automated, our silicone rubber, finally. So that felt pretty good. But uh, we did end up at the end. We were smelting up our Nakwada, Nakwada, however you say it. I can never remember. And uh, I did finish that little bit, a couple of the quests. Also, I was looking at that. I think it's just the two in the... Oh, you got to do the dust first? I I thought that was... um. I thought you put the two in. I think I may be confusing that with Community Edition, though. Um, one to three. I guess I should do... Why don't we over here? Let's do this recipe. <clears throat> uh, I haven't got the okay, talking and <laughs> doing stuff at the same time. Too difficult. Uh, I haven't got the blast furnace situation sorted out because these more complicated recipes. This is a one, right? Is that what it was? Yeah. Uh, these more complicated recipes require more... Not complicated, but like more advanced, I guess, gases as opposed to just the base oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen. I consider those just kind of like very basic things are in so many different dusts and everything. Um, but these later ones do require helium, at least helium, or we could do radon, xenon, krypton, argon. I consider those like more advanced gases helium is probably one of the easier ones to get but i think radon we might be going for radon because as we can see the more depending on which one you do is how fast it goes now helium is the slowest whereas xenon or not xenon radon is like the second best as we can see so i think getting that up and running again. I do have that stuff set up, but I have never, I broke it down when we started moving all the base over and uh, all the channels and stuff. So it's not hooked up, it's not running. And uh, plus uh, now we are running the base off uranium. So that's a little bit more. Having that is a little bit more important. Um, like, I don't want this to go through at all, converting all our uranium to radon. That could be a problem, since I I need that for my reactor. I actually don't know. How many uh, dust do we need for that, actually? <clears throat> yeah, see, one one set of quad rods is 48 uranium. So if I have that, if I'm producing that, um, we're going to tear through that pretty quick, um, which once I get the miner, uh, a miner on a vein like that is not a problem. All right. But, uh, as we can see, I am filling up my drives here. I do have some other ones over here, but these are even starting to fill up because they're only 4k and we are just pumping resources into our a system from the miner that's in the nether right now. Which we are getting stylerite. Finally. It must have hit that vein finally. We're starting to get it. But yeah, we're running out of room here because I mean if we look at some of the stuff we have like thirty thousand iron ingots, that's just in drives. I don't have that in a separate drawer. Electrotine, I probably am just gonna Oops. Uh probably just going to process this all down. Just send it into a centrifuge. We get Electrum and Redstone. I think that... I don't think we need to keep that. Uh, maybe I'll... I'll go do that. But... Um, again, that's... Wait, how much was it? Did I, was that 8 to 2? Is that what that was? It is. You actually don't get that much out of it. But uh, at this point, Electrotine... I'm not really using Electrotine. We're not doing those anymore. We might need that later, but I can always... Do we need this? No. I don't think we need that. 
I have no idea what that is. I rarely ever... I don't think I ever used Project Red in the first one. So, yeah, we don't really need Electrotine. If we need it, I can always go gather it. But, uh... Uh... Does that not want to... <laughs> oh, because... Or Dictionary Filter. That's right. I think it was in... What did I have? Impure Dusts? I'll have to... Uh, I Unfortunately, those don't save. The, the or Dictionaries do not... Like, do I really need to use the acceleration? Yeah, I don't need another acceleration card. That'll just slowly go through that. Actually, now that I have massive amounts of Sirtis and stuff, we don't have to watch how much I spend on those, because that is fully automated, and I just got a whole bunch. All right, so that'll just process this down. Anyway, I'm getting totally distracted, which is usual for... All right, so what I was trying to say is I actually just, I paused this. Um, since I don't have an on-off switch in the nether, I just basically switched off the, I switched this pump to import. So it's not getting drilling fluid, it's turned off the thing until I can get this sorted out. And all I'm going to do that is actually with the, these SOCs that we just got. So I put all the recipes out for that. We do have all the... The 256 wafers um i just haven't crafted up the soc stuff yet so we'll do that and it should be we should be fine yeah there we go it uses a yellow which i was prepared for um, i never did switch these to bigger inputs i don't think it really matters at this point we only have one laser engraver so it's never going to be able to do like more than three stacks at once. So uh, the small inputs are fine at the moment. All right. But that should be that. There it is. And then we just need to cut it. And I think I... No, I didn't do recipe for that. But that's easy enough. Did I ever name this? I did name it. I need to throw another pattern in there, though. Because we are full. Oh, look at that. I actually have a pattern. All right, so we'll do SOC for that. Now, the reason I wanted this is because it makes getting the 16K drives way, way easier. There we go. Uh, because it makes these circuits that much easier. All right, cool. So there's that. Um, and I need to... Uh, I should have quite a few of these loot bags now. Okay, I only have six. I have a whole lot of <laughs> tier four, but I only have six. I thought I had more than that. Um, a lot of these give loot bags. <laughs> Actually, some of these give loot bags, too. Uh, maybe I should have taken that one. Oh, well. At this point, this stuff is actually pretty easy. Well, we can get some really good stuff off those loot bags. Okay, so then I just need to switch the things. I had a feeling it was probably going to make me do this. And I hate these batch craft ones. But I do want to... If we're here... I, I might as well do them. It's just kind of annoying. You have to hold all this stuff in your hand. Although, speaking of... I, um... I don't have the iron chloride. I need to get that. Maybe I should do that really quick. I don't have this automated. I've just been buying it. Because you can buy it really cheap. And, uh... I was just using chemistry to buy it. Um, but I really should get that. I think we'll do the iron chlorine 3. I mean, I have 30,000 ingots. We might as well. Hydrochloric acid and iron.
I mean, and then that will... Yeah, I should do that. Let's grab another chemical reactor. Uh, I love just being able to... <laughs> I love being able to just click a button and... There we go. Large chemical reactor. Everything we need for it. Um, except for the input buses. Okay, let me finish. I'm going to do these two quests. We don't need to sit here and wait for me to do this. Um, it's just annoying that I have to hold everything to get credit. That's my only complaint. All right, we are back uh, just setting up the iron chloride. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to... Let me just do this really quick. Iron 3. Chloride. No! Iron 3. Chloride. That works. Uh, I was trying to decide if I wanted to do it in one and just void the hydrogen and we would pump in the hydrochloric acid that we were producing in another one. So basically we would be losing three hydrogen each um, each craft um, or use two large chemical reactors and I would just use that hydrogen that we are going to produce and turn that into hydrochloric acid in this one with, while mixing it with chlorine. So I decided to do that. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter um, other than just not wasting a little bit of hydrogen, uh, which is relatively easy to obtain. But I figured, what's the point? If we can just do this, we can we can do that. I just got to, yeah, one. I, I couldn't remember what circuit number it was. <clears throat> I have tons of circuits now because of that quest. Um, I'm just finishing up. I haven't finished up the MV quest. Um, I decided, because we needed so many circuit boards, I decided to do this first. All right, so one in there. And then that doesn't need one. I'm pumping the iron dust into there. And there is our output hatch. <laughs> so I'm going to throw... that on there, and it should turn on. Oh, there it goes. Turning that into that. And then we have... Whoops. I accidentally voided some. <laughs> you know what? I want to start that over. Because I had a, an amount that... Uh, I screwed that up because it voided right there. I want to go it directly into there. So it's going to... Do, I'll put the hydrogen into there, but I screwed up that ratio. Oops, I'll just, I'll just void that one little bit. Actually, no. We'll just do, yeah. We'll just, we're basically starting with some hydrochloric acid and we won't need it. We won't need any more hydrogen. It'll just recycle us back and forth because it's exact, it's a perfect ratio. All right, so we'll try that again. that wait now that i'm like <laughs> wait no did i wait no i did avoid it <laughs> just just ignore me <laughs> uh it used 15 hydrochloric acid and we got 15 hydrogen back i was thinking it was a three to one for some reason i was thinking we avoided like thirty thousand. all right just ignore me this one does not need a fluid detector on it though because if it doesn't have hydrogen it's not going to run so we'll just do that and that and i think that i'll start doing that yeah so that produces hydrochloric acid that produces the iron chloride um it does toggle on and off though that since the since the hatches aren't staying full it is like toggling on and off. Let me uh, let me hook this up to the thing. I probably will limit 
Actually, nah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if we're gonna... I might just fill this up. Come on. Are we... Like, am I... Oh, I never... Wait, no, I did. One, two, three, four. Why do I only have... Why are we missing a channel? AF3. I really need a drive link over there, too, because this room has gotten big. Uh, AF3. It's one of the new ones. Yeah. That's weird. I mean, it has plenty of room for... Did I just do something? Maybe I... Maybe I screwed something up when I did that. If click. Oh, one FE. Okay, I screwed something up there. Just kidding. Sometimes, you know, whatever. No. Alright, what the heck is going on here? I'm like, I have room for channels. Why is this working? Did it work? Why is this? Why is that not registering? All right. Who noticed that I forgot to hit it with a bucket? I've had that happen a few times, actually. That uh, I forgot to. I forgot to change it from the ME. I mean, P2P to Fluid. Yep, that is still an ME. There we go. That, that should work. What did I do with this one? That's Fluid. That's Fluid, all right. There we go, there's our iron chloride. Yeah, see, it's kind of like... It takes a second for it to register that the hydrogen's in there. You know what? We'll leave it. We'll just leave it. It doesn't matter. But anyway, there we go. There is our hydrogen chloride. Let's do... Let me throw a thing on here. Um, we'll... I'll just keep an eye on it. If it starts draining, like, my entire thing of iron, then, uh, then I'll turn it off for a little bit. We don't need, like, absolute... We don't need, like, a million buckets of the stuff yet. Also, I hate how that sets, resets every time I log out of the world. All right, iron, three... All right. All right. Now I just need to attach this to my circuit one. We are good to go. And I should craft up a couple travel anchors when I get back to the base. I think I have room for another channel over here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not checking. I'm I'm living dangerously. I actually don't know what the channel situation underneath here is. Oh, we should be good. Yeah, we should be good. There. All right, cool. Lots of... I didn't realize that was so big. But that was because I was putting in 16 buckets of time every time I the quest would reset. All right, so we got that, and uh, now I can make lots and lots of these. 
Okay, there we go. It finished the quests. Uh, I did just pick the loot bags. We will get to those loot bags. It just takes me a little bit of time to do that. Um, yeah, a lot of these all give loot bags too. So that's kind of why I've been putting off a little bit. This gives chemistry stuff, but usually like the last one. Yeah, look at that one. Two loot bags. Uh, but I mean, that's not... I don't have that set up yet, obviously, but we're working on it. Um, but first thing, I just noticed I never finished. I never. Ah, oh, that's right, because I didn't. This is so annoying. These quests. <laughs> I just don't feel like doing these. Like, all right, it's like I just have to hold all the stuff in my hand, and it's just annoying when I can just shift click the recipes into the. I can just shift click them in here and just we have the recipe set up i don't have to like hold all this stuff so i'll work on that i mean it's not the end of the world um but i do want is that what i needed yeah uh, i do want to get some 16k because i started looking at the we'll get that going um and as you can see the, it is not difficult at all. It's only eight, eight boards for a 16K thing. So that is much, much easier with that. No SMDs or anything like that. Um, it does require diamonds and stuff, but um, yeah. So I've been looking at the assembly line recipe because we're going to, this is the next big thing and I'm going to start working on it. It's going to take me a while to get to it, but uh, as we can see, we've, uh, We've gotten everything automated, even like the carbon fibers that use PBI. I got, ooh, I do need to, I didn't think about that. I don't have these set up to produce ingots. Usually I just throw, I use the cells to do that. I've said that a few times, but uh, I need to... Guess we'll do... Just a fluid solidifier and i guess we'll have to do it that way um i'll think about that uh but i think just a fluid solidifier storage bus for that and the other one is the epoxy i need that as well but i usually as we can see i usually just grab a whole bunch of fluid and do it manually but uh let me let me do that poly it's really the plates. I do like the ingots, though, because that lets us do other things with it if needed. I, I mean, I don't think we're going to need triple <laughs> that plates, but if I have the ingots, I can. Um, if I do it directly to plates, it's a bit annoying. Um, but that is that. All right. Uh, one thing I am going to have to set up, there is a few things that I'm going to have to do with the SMD diodes like if we need a bunch say 2000 uh we need niobium titanium we don't need a lot see there's the uh <laughs> the pbi that we're gonna need we don't need a lot of it but um i don't have any niobium i need to go throw the miner down on another vein i'm probably gonna do it on an appetite vein um because i also need lots and lots of this stuff so I need tricalcium phosphate ore for the indium gallium stuff. And I also need, yeah, I have a bunch of it now, but I'm, I don't have a source of it. Um, I need more. Um, so that, and then that will get us niobium, and I think we will be good. But um, since I'm going to be dumping tons and tons of stuff in here, I think I need to get some of this in its own drawer i think um i'm not gonna s keep a lot of this stuff and i really would like a better place for this i've kind of just adopted this place as the uh my drawer thing just because it was already set up but uh, i don't like it here i've also gone ahead and thrown the redstone ore into a drawer because we got 
as you can see, 700 stacks of the stuff. It was just taking up lots of room because we get so much of it from... Where's my... We get so much, we get 12 per ore or something like that. So we just end up with just absolute massive amounts of it. So I think I'm just going to, a few items, not everything, but uh, I'm going to do, we'll do iron in there. Uh, just to help with the, the thing. Now I'm not going to do a void because that's... I don't want that, but uh, I do need to throw some things, and I don't have any on me. I'll have to go get them. Yeah, just to help clear out drawers. But uh, another reason I need these 16k things is for crafting. Because if we did that, it's 24,000 at this point, which, I mean, this isn't that complicated. Um, but I don't have a thing big enough for that, so I need the 16k, and I need to expand my crafting, so we'll probably do, I think it's good to have like one, one really big one, maybe we'll do it like at the end. I didn't look in there to see if it was actually doing anything. Um, can't we... Is shift-clicking these things not a... Can I not take the stuff out of these? Okay, I can. I was like... Oh, but do I lose the... I want the... I don't want... I, I want the crafty thing. Is that... Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. I was like... I was pretty sure we didn't lose that oh wait these are different aren't they i don't have the uh where is that's right it's an assembler recipe <laughs> i'm like did i i didn't do a 16k might as well do the Mm, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it because I will probably just set up a 64k assembler or crafting. Yeah. And then we will probably get some of the bigger ones as well. Start spamming those for those super complicated late game recipes. All right, there we go. So yeah, we'll have like one really big one. I'll just keep expanding that. But that will let us get the more complicated recipes. So can we actually craft one assembly machine casing? What am I missing? No crafting. Something did it. Oh. Apparently, I'm out of channels. Uh, didn't see that. Not out of channels. I'm just, I'm capped right there. Um, whoops. Let's. Has that always been like that? Maybe it has. I don't know. That is kind of funny. All right, that should be fine. I had room. I just, uh, I ran out of channels on that little line. All right, so does this work? It's, it's thinking. Yeah, we're good. Oh. Right. <laughs> I just realized this is four channels here, too. I think I am derping out here with these 
channels. All right, let's do this. That. There we go. I think we got it. I think. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right. So I'm going to start getting that. Uh, this is one of about 15 we're going to have to do. But um, as we can see, we are at a point where I can start crafting up the assembly line machines. Um, they do require six mainframes, quantum mainframes. Um, I'm going to have to get Radon 2 for that. I'm definitely going to have to get some more of this stuff, but uh, now that I have the bigger things, I can start upgrading some of my drives. I know one of these is obviously empty um, because I'm going to have to just keep pumping more and more uh, I'm going to have to keep pumping more and more um materials from the miner and we're going to be filling up our drives so i got to keep that a bit organized at this point there we go that probably will turn on yep there it goes so yeah lots and lots of sulfur lots and lots of redstone lots and lots of iron <laughs> see we have nine thousand there six thousand there Magnesite, we can just get rid of that. I don't think we need it. We are getting magnesium. The only reason I would process this down would be for the magnesium. And we're get we have thirty thousand. We're getting. I can't remember where we're getting it from. We're getting it for something in the farm. I don't remember which one that did it, but uh, one of the things we're doing is the granite i don't remember one of them is getting his magnesium so all right so i'm just keeping everything kind of organized here we got our iron chloride set up for our circuits uh there are a couple little things i need to do i mean eventually we're going to get rid of all these small machines but uh yeah i basically just i kind of need resources at the moment and radon so i need to produce a whole bunch of radon for all these quantum circuits, the Q qubit. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to do that recipe. I think we're doing this one, aren't we? I, I don't remember actually. I don't remember what we decided to do with that. But uh, yeah, it's basically just. Oh, we did decide to do that one. Yeah. Um, it's basically just working towards the assembly line now. So that is kind of where we're at. Ooh, I need and platinum. I need to get I need to drop it on a platinum thing. I it's not technically platinum, it's I forget which one. But I'll throw it over there. So yeah, I just need to uh Yeah, we're not at tier four yet. So we don't have that one. Ganymede, Callisto series, yeah, Palladium Vein. That's what I need. But also get us Chrome too. So yeah, we'll come back next episode. We'll start getting our assembly line and uh we'll go from there. Anyway, that's gonna be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.